Well, first of all, we're standing on his first major mistake, Lionel Road. Now we are reflecting on his night bus debacle. Now, quite clearly, in our view, when you take a decision about not reinstating, and we'll get to the, the nitty gritty of it, but effectively, the night bus has not been reinstated as per other use. And if you look at the overall context, restaurants are open, the bars are open. People are in need of that type of resource to, to, to enhance our transport system. And quite clearly to say to the people, we're not reinstating now, but we're reviewing it with a, with a view to reducing its capacity, I think is the wrong step. If you look at the messaging to our community, we want to encourage people to use the buses, surely. We want a greener, cleaner, healthier Gibraltar. So use public transport, abandon your cars or use them less. This really runs contrary to the central theme within the GSLP government, which is use your car less, make Gibraltar cleaner and, and greener for the sake of our children and the environment. The Minister claims though very few people were using the bus and it was costing £75,000. Well look, everything in life is expensive, of course it is, but £75,000 in the context of trying to encourage a community to use our buses is the right step in the right direction. Now I think what he should be doing, which I think he's now realised he should do, is look at the entirety of the bus service, see how we can restructure it, reorganise it so that we can make cost savings along the way so we can produce a night service for the, for the general population. I think it could be achievable. You have to look at what you've got, look at ways of improving it and deliver that product to the rest of the community. Not reinstating it or at least reducing on a, on a reduced, uh, producing on a reduced capacity is the wrong step in my view. Well surely you'd be an advocate of value for money. Absolutely you want value for money but look let's take a look at the organisation. Are there ways in which we can improve the organisation so we can retain that service? But look if we are inviting thousands of tourists as the Chief Minister likes to talk about on Sky News and BBC and flash Gibraltar as the flagship of our recovery, the world's recovery to Covid, then when these thousands of tourists come to, our, come to our shores and visit our rock and visit the apes, surely they might want to use a bus now and then. So quite frankly, cancelling a night bus is the wrong step in that direction. So what would the opposition do to get people on those bus seats? Well, look, it's quite clear what we'd have to do. We need to reorganise the routes, increase the frequency, increase possibly the number of buses. We need to say to people, look, this is a cultural change in the mindset of our people, all of us, all of us indeed, people that use cars and motorcycles. We need to change the way we think about how we move about our city. It's very, very important. And buses are an integral part of that. They support the elderly, our youth, and trying to encourage people to use bicycles, walkways, look at our pavements to see whether they can be changed in a way that encourages that. Buses are an integral part of the transport system. And once the public have confidence that we have got this right, they will use the buses more. And that's simply it. Simply it.